Hi, Eric Gibo, EricGibo.com, and today I'm going to tell you my seven tips advice, photography advice for August 2023. So let's start. This month, we're going to speak about rain and about sun. A few days ago, a guy sent me, I can't remember his name, uh, sent me a message uh, via Instagram telling, please, Eric, tell us uh, tips about making picture when it's raining. So uh, seven tips about rain, that would be too much. So we're going to speak about rain and also about sun and sunshine, okay? So first tip, when it's raining and you're outdoor making picture, although your camera may be uh, weather sealed, take care, protect it, okay? Uh, there is something that is re really, uh, that sounds stupid, but this is a shower hat. You actually place it on your camera uh, while, uh, to protect it. Uh, I don't speak about the, the, the typical granny hat, okay? I speak about uh, the one that when you get uh, uh, to dye your hair, uh, I, I show my beard because sometimes I don't hit on my beard, not here, okay? You have a small, one of these small hats, plastic, okay, that comes in the box, okay? This is perfect. Or you can use a plastic bag, or whatever, to protect it. It's important. Your, your gear is more important than the way you, the way you look, okay? <laughs> okay? In this moment, important is to save your gear, okay? And also take care with a drop of rain that fall on the lens. Uh, in the, the front lens because otherwise you will probably uh, have some optical effect on your picture so in this case maybe an umbrella may be a good way to escape it's not always easy to use an umbrella maybe someone needs to help you so uh, and it, also if the rain is vertical if it's horizontal it's it really windy that's a problem okay so uh, try to protect your camera anyway what i say it's only possible if you've closed all the small doors on your camera so if you want to make video with a microphone that is connected forget about this you really need a serious protection because uh, from the second you leave these small doors open your camera is not protected anymore and also i recommend you have this small uh, piece of gear that uh, plastic that protects the hot shoe of your flash okay uh, because through there some humidity may enter also so protect as much as you can Tip number two, well, this was actually the big question of this guy who contacted me, is what to do after the rain, okay? After the rain, the sunshine, they say, now, well, you go home, what, could, what should you do if your uh, camera got wet? Well, I recommend you use a microfiber uh, towel to actually dry the camera as much as you can, and maybe uh, some ear stick to, uh, with uh, you have uh, cotton in there and then go on the bottom of, uh, of each button and you go there to, to uh, take as much humidity as possible and then remove the battery don't open the door before drying the, outdoor, the outside okay and then you remove the battery uh, the less electricity along with water the better it is okay remove it and then if you feel you got a lot of uh, humidity on it have some kind of plastic box and in there you can put rice like uh, two or three centimeters of rice and you place on it your camera with the lens uh, mounted all together okay and uh, that will uh, keep it dry okay that will suck the humidity uh, of, co of course you could use this small uh, plastic bag of uh, gel sil uh, silicium i don't know you call that gel okay that actually uh, take humidity away okay but place it because if you still have a bit of humidity in your camera next day when going to go out you probably get some uh, bow on your uh, on your lens okay so it's important to have it really really dry tip number three yes uh, protect yourself from the rain but also you could use the rain as a creative element that may be really interesting to see the rain uh, falling maybe you could uh, do some slow motion so you really see uh, the trace of uh, the trail of, uh, of of the rain or whatever okay or use reflection some uh, water on the floor or picture of drops uh, macro picture whatever uh, all uh, creativity is possible if you have uh, an open mind okay and the good thing in this situation maybe you can just open your door be dry at home and make the picture uh, of the rain outdoor okay so well you think about it but don't forget that rain and water may be a great creative element tip number four enough of rain let's speak about sun and sunshine okay well not exactly the sun as light but the sun as heat very often i see people that forget how much heat it can generate in a car for example it can go up to 70 degrees or celsius okay i don't know how many fahrenheit over 100 uh, well over okay and uh 
that really that is really a big problem because that could uh, uh, melt part of your gear or damage electronic and also really take care with lithium batteries when they are submitted to really hot temperature they may explode check on, on, on uh, Google or uh, YouTube and you will see a lot of examples of people who had their uh, battery explode okay so take really much care uh, of that and also don't forget that uh, your lens is a magnify, magnifying glass if there is a ray of sun that goes through it it will really overheat the inside of your camera uh, the typical Leica M accident that actually gets on fire because they didn't use the cap on the on the lens and then the rough sun got in actually burned the fabrics of the uh, the, the shutter okay on lake aim but if it's plastic if it's uh, metal it doesn't matter it may really get really hot that it will melt the typical accident is the person who make eclipse uh, sun eclipse pictures and they place the camera on the tripod well before the eclipse and pointing at the sun without any cap and when they go and shoot because the eclipse starts doesn't work because the inside has melted check on google there's a lot of cases like this uh, on, on youtube people have melted the camera so don't point at the sun during a long time that may ruin your camera advice number five well that may ruin your camera but it could also affect your body so uh, especially if you have a reflex camera and don't forget this is an optical viewfinder it goes through the uh, lens through the uh, goes uh, reflects on the mirror and go through the prism if you point at the sun with your eye you may damage it so on a mirrorless you don't have this problem it's a the, the viewfinder is actually a small monitor it's really bright but it's not going to damage your eye but when you point at the sun using a reflex camera really take care with that same with a rangefinder camera so take care what you, where you look at if you have a reflex camera also uh, people they uh, for, think they take care with that but then they making like a sunset or sunrise picture happens more with sunset and they're there for like 20 minutes looking at the sun and then they want to make the picture and they realize they don't see well yeah because you've been uh, looking at the sun for too long and uh, that's a problem so use sunglasses or protect yourself or just watch when needed take care with that same thing with people that use reflectors uh, that will not damage probably the photographer but yes the person is being photographed so it's really important when it's really sunny don't use reflectors use flashes okay so they get the light just when needed because a reflector pointing at a model that can uh, leave this person completely blind and uh, sometimes with irreversible damages so really take care with the direction when uh, not even touching the camera that could already be a big problem for your eyes and for your health Tip number six, well, same as we spoke about uh, the rain as a creative element, same thing with the sun. The sun may create some effects like flare, for example, and these flare effects, uh, maybe you like them, so you want to have this ray of light that cross your picture or strange things. If you don't want them, don't point at the sun directly. Uh, use a sun hood, all this, put your hand, whatever and uh, be aware that in some situation and depending on the quality of your uh, of your lens you may get some flare so you decide if you want it or not but you must be aware of it okay some, sometimes you will not see a flare but you would you will see that your picture is a lot less contrasting well this is a side light and actually it looks like milky and not contrasting at all and many people are not aware this is a light a side light problem Sometimes happen with flashes also depends where you place your camera and the light but with the sun it's really often it happens so in this case same thing use the sun hood or put your hand or change the way you place your camera all this so really take care with that so uh, if you want this effect enjoy them if you don't want them make everything to avoid them okay but be aware they exist sometimes you will see like it happens really at sunset and sunrise you see like two three sun on your picture what is that you think there's a camera problem uh, or hot pixel whatever that's not this the problem is likely because you use a filter so the sun the sunlight comes through the filter and through the lens but pot bounces on the front lens of your lens okay and then it reflects on the back of the filter and then enter again and then reflects and then enter and you see one two three time the sun and actually with this, not the same power okay well remove the filter because this is likely the big problem you're having even really good quality filter it may happen but if you see two or three times the sun on your picture this is the reason 
Tip number seven. Well, sometimes you will notice that uh, after making your picture, there is like a point of light. You don't see what it is. It's really massive, really. Uh, you've lost all texture, all that. Well, that was probably uh, the sunlight that was reflecting on a piece of glass, piece of metal, water, whatever, okay? So when you're going to make a picture with, with Bryson, observe the situation. Maybe for your composition, you should change a bit or change the framing to avoid this. Or you decide it's there and you will clone it in Photoshop later, or you will leave it as it is. But uh, once it's done, it's too late to change, okay? So but there are some solutions, but sometimes it's faster to, to see it at the, uh, at the right moment you make the picture. So really observe if you see that something really bright appears, this is probably a reflection, okay? So uh, the sun may help you obviously you need it to make your picture but may also damage uh, the look or ruin your picture or the idea you had for your picture okay so these were my seven tips for august 2023 thank you for watching them if you feel them interest of the people please share the share the video on social networks if you have not done it yet please subscribe to my youtube channel so button down here is a small bell if you click on the bell get notified when i upload a new video my website erigipo.com if you have any question can leave a comment below also leave your links of money on amazon links of everything are reviewed by kf concepts and morgan flashes by westcott more affiliated links and also a link to my paypal account in case you wanted to make a donation please take care of yourself and see you soon Bye.